Hey guys, what's up? Hey everybody. Today we're going to be talking about the new Doom. Uh, more specifically, we're going to be talking over the gameplay that was shown at E3. So, uh, you'll probably already seen the gameplay. So, if you're looking here for new gameplay, you know, uh, just sorry. <laughs> but uh, I made sure to get Dan here because him, uh, him and I are big, big fans of the first and second. And uh, I guess you're from the third one too. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh. I enjoy this first and second more than the third, but the third was all right too. Yeah. My history with Doom, um, it started with my uncle. He brought uh, Doom 64 into the house, and I'm like, huh, this seems interesting. And I started playing it, and I got addicted to it. I was like, I wonder if there's any more compared to it. And I saw one and two, and I'm like, huh. And I started playing those, and then went to there from three, and then Final Doom, and so so my pretty much my history of Doom is I played it. I've heard I heard about it pretty much all my life from you know just uh, I can't hear say from maybe uh, friends. I think maybe like some family mentioned it one time, and then eventually I got a, I was you know like generally everybody who's been on the internet for a long time uh, generally you get on the internet and you start hearing a lot about a lot of things you've never heard about, and one of those things is Doom, and eventually. I looked up like the, a flash version of the very first level, or I think you can actually play the first episode. You now I think about it. Hmm. But I played the first level. I was like, oh, I got, I got to play this. But uh, I didn't want to play on a PC because I hated, I hate mouse and keyboard. Well, well just the games, you know, would work it just fine, you know. But then I found out it was on the Xbox 360 uh, arcade, so I bought Doom One. I played all the way through it. Then I bought Doom Two. Played all the way through it. Then. Uh, Daniel came over, and I didn't know he was a Doom fan until then, and we just played all night long, just yeah. Doom multiplayer, chainsawing each other up. It was pretty fun. <laughs> I didn't even know the Doom, was it Doom 64 that has the double chainsaw? Mm -hmm. With the double chain, double chained chainsaw? Yep. Now, that would have been awesome to put in, put in the new game. Yeah, it would have been. Because if you, like, the graphics in Doom 64, it kind of appealed to me. I was like, ooh. Yeah, it's, uh, it's as the same kind of style that Doom 1 and 2 has. Just, like, high-res, you know, stuff. I don't think, I think you still be able to see the pixels if you get really close. Mm -hmm. Then pixels. And the only thing you have to be careful for if you want to turn up the gamma a little bit, because the game can be a little too dark in some places, you have to turn up the gamma. It's never too dark for a Doom thing. <laughs> never, never too dark? Never. But uh, enough for the classic Dooms. Let's get started on the new Doom. So uh, just give me your general push, Dale, of what you've seen so far. What I've seen... Because I know your jaw was dropped the entire time <laughs> the game was playing. Because it like started... Then once the guy uh, pumped the shotgun, uh, Dane was like... <sighs> <laughs> Man, I was excited because I really want to see a new Doom come back looking, you know, what it is now. I mean, I was waiting for it, and the new, like, the weapons have changed a little bit, but had a little bit of the same design almost, and I was I was appealed to that. Then the next part that like, really got me appealed was the chainsaw they brought. Yeah. A lot of people are pissed off that uh, the chainsaw was is now animation only mm -hmm. where you can't just chainsaw people yeah and now my other favorite touch I saw was the double barrel the super shotgun mm-hmm mm -hmm, baby I was like oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> uh, pretty much ev you could tell how much the fans were loving this because if you watch the live E3 showing like I did you heard applause and Everybody's going crazy whenever, like, he pumped the shotgun, and then he had, like, the super shotgun. Then when he ripped the guy's arm off and, and he used it as uh, the key card. I I'm not sure if there's going to be key cards in this game, or that's how you do it. I think you might have to use some type of objects in the environment to get to the next progress of okay. the level. And also, uh, the level is actually more open than I initially thought. Because you got to think about it. You got double jump now. You have uh, still the running. And also, you have verticality, as in, you know, like, you remember the little rot? Yeah. Where, like, say you go out that door, 
and where he jumped. You, 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 did you see platforms about, uh, like blow? You can go there. Huh. So you can go back and forth and stuff. So I thought it was just going to be on that one area and stuff. That's what everybody thought it was. But somebody said that, yeah, you know, you see that, you can go to it. Huh. Let's see. What else was there that got me excited? Uh, oh, yeah. No, Fatalities. Oh, <laughs> uh, excuse me. Uh, no, <coughs> those finishing moves. <laughs> that also, and the classic sound in the doors. Oh, yeah, that was good. Daniel came at that point. Yeah, I heard the classic sound. I'm like, oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh. That's my good stuff. <laughs> but, um. Wow. <laughs> and I'm a bit curious how the levels are going to turn out. Uh, from what it looked like, I think we're gonna have Doom one and two style maps, and less, less Doom three style maps. Okay. And also we have there's like weapon upgrades you can get for your weapon. Oh yeah, that's right. Like there are, for the shotgun in game, there was a like a burst mode, I guess when you he puts it on there and I think he bursts shots the shotgun, and it looks pretty cool. Let's see, and I'm also willing to see multiplayer. And also the new, I guess the new feature they added oh, to it. So, uh, let's get there. Well, first we're going to talk about multiplayer. They oh, yeah, didn't multiplayer. show much of. They didn't show much of multiplayer. Oh, they, they showed about a minute and a half, if if that. Okay. Uh, that's including the stuff they showed in Snap Map, also. Oh yeah, that's what I was getting ready to say. So uh, they said they wanted a classic arena style gameplay. So no Doom Three, Doom One and Two. All right. So I think you have all the same weapon. You start with the same weapon. Pistol, I guess, back then. Maybe an SMG now. I'm. Not, they didn't show a pistol off in this gameplay, so. And a lot of people said they saw an SMG, so they might. They're probably saying that the new, the new starting weapons would be an SMG. Okay. From uh, Brutal Doom. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. That's the only Doom I haven't played, which is a mod for Doom Two and One, isn't it? I think, yeah, it could be for both, but uh, I've only seen it play with Doom One. All right. Because yeah. I, I haven't really got to play that the mod of it. And one of the cooler things is, there's a new, like, pickup you can get that turns you to a uh, random demon. Huh. So, the gameplay shows you turn into a revenant, but I think they have confirmed that you could turn into, like, an imp. Maybe, maybe a pinky. Maybe a specter. I don't know. Hmm. Uh, I think revenant might be the high step. Just because he can get around the levels. Quickly. I don't think you'll be playing as a cyber demon. Walking through everywhere. <laughs> right. Yeah, even though how cool that'd be. And also, at one part of the footage that you showed me, where you countered, the, uh, it's been a while since I've seen the footage, but you countered the, the character that we saw from the second game. Mancubus? Yeah. With the two cannons? Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, he, uh, rips its, like, apparatus on his chest or something out, and then puts it in his mouth, and <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's some good timing right there. Yeah, okay, let's, uh, let's finish up and talk about the uh, snap map. It's the new uh, level crater. Uh, Doom 1 and 2 have their own, like, third-party level craters, and I think Doom 3 by itself came with a level crater. Now, if you buy the BFG edition, you don't get it. But, yeah, uh, Doom 3 did have a level crater. I haven't ever messed with it just because, you know, I had the BFG edition, and I didn't get the regular Doom 3. It's only on PC, also. Uh, just like the uh, the Doom builders, for I guess, for uh, Doom 1 and 2, yeah. were also only on PC. But Snap Map is going to be on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC all together. And it's pretty cool. It's You can make uh, like maps with single player in mind, co-op. Uh, multiplayer arenas. You, there's also they're introducing new mode modes like uh, there's like a horde mode where you have to defend uh, defend against waves of enemies. There's also like a zombie uh, from like Call of Duty style mode where basically you, uh, you get you. It's basically just like an upgrade from the horde mode where you kill enemies, you get points, you can buy better weapons and stuff. So that's actually pretty interesting. Can't wait to play that. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be cool. We're gonna, we're gonna, let's be honest. We're gonna spend at least 24 hours oh, yeah. just messing around with that. So, uh, once that comes out, you'll probably, yeah, I'll make sure you come over and we'll dig around in that. And I'm also, when it comes out, I'll be trying to pre-order it. Yeah. Oh, that's right. You'll uh, have an Xbox One by then. Yep. 
So yeah, we'll probably play, play online, maybe. Yeah, because I really want to play it and be like, ha, I'm having fun. <laughs> Somebody hopefully, wants to hopefully there's co-op. Oh, I hope so. That'd, that'd be awesome. Oh, like split screen co-op. That'd be cool. Yeah, we can get back to our classic days. Oh yeah. Yeah. I can't wait to look up the guides to these uh, new levels. And now, uh, what I'm also excited if it if they ever think about doing it, just because of the new Doom. If they bring back for backwards compatibility for Doom 1 and 2. Yeah, that'd be great. I like That's something I would like to mm -hmm. see. So, and I'll say if you guys don't know, we, uh, uh, I'm in the preview program. I got my system back from doing the repair center. And the preview program was pretty good. I mean, I'm not going to talk about it all too much in this video, but basically you, uh, we're testing out backwards compatibility games right now. And uh, we've been playing a couple, and I think we play. we didn't get, really get to play any last night. I played. I've been playing some a little bit, and it's actually working out pretty good. So, uh, we're gonna wrap it up, and we'll then we'll lead us out. See y'all later. Bye.